Hi, you kids and cadets. Welcome back to Tommy Time. Appreciate you coming out. I'm doing a little video for one of my longtime subscribers, Jamie. He had messaged me, said he picked up three junk craftsman mowers. He gave me the craftsman number, but unfortunately, when you type that in, you're going to get a lot of body parts, the handle tires. It doesn't really help me on the engine. But I did give um, a few of those uh, numbers into Google, and I, I found one that I think is going to mimic what he has. I used the uh, Craftsman number. It showed a picture of a Pulsar Jet. So there's numerous Pulsar Jet style carburetors. I'll do this one here and show you this one when I come across another pulsa jamie i have a bunch in my junk section i can grab one of those and uh, do a video on it the deal is as jamie said there was a lot of linkages missing and he needed spring numbers if you can send me the engine id which is stamped on front of the air cover here that would help me out. So this is a Frankenstein, I believe, this um, Ukrainian special. The, the, the base is a uh, Bolins. I got a Briggs on it, Pulsa. This may have went together, but I don't think so. This is a 02 or 03 on the engine, and the carburetor itself is um, a 2012, according to the um serial number it begins with one two and then blah 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 the one two means it's a 2012 so let me grab some spectacles i came unprepared but i have some fairly close by i got them all over the place when you're half blind you tuck them anywhere okay so this is the one zero helo nine oh two oh two eighty five e one jack's engine said that all these springs would correspond with a 10 age 900 series this is a 902 series so this will work so this this carb actually has a air vane you see that white tab there but they call it a governor blade which is ironic because the little hook they that goes into it they call it an air vane link so they should keep their um, terminology the same the, if you've got a broken um, governor blade here it's 691912 this air vane link it is um, just got a loop on this side, a big open circle here. You fish your springs through the open circle, and then it's got a hook that goes directly into the plastic for the throttle. Let me uh, see if I got a pointer nearby. Okay, I got something that'll work. I'm not prepared for you. So this type carburetor has the um, linkage out here which you can set a, a certain rpm by pushing this tab down what that does is stop the linkage from moving if you lift this tab up you can go to full throttle here and then back down this way is uh, idle a slower rpm if you just don't want anybody messing with it you bend this tab down like that to prevent it from going down to slow idle. So there's all kinds of linkages. Some of these pulses have a, a linkage back to the governor. This is using an air vane. So I, I'll give you some spring numbers. The long spring here with the oval hook on the end and then um, 
just a C hook on this side. It goes into the oval hole right here. That spring number is 691297. In Jack's description, they call both of them a governor spring. They don't differentiate between what's what. The smaller, tiny spring up here, it's got two oval racetrack hooks on either end. That's the 691859. So both of these hook up into this air vein link right in the middle. There's a hole right there. And then this one goes out to a hole right here. The, um, the 85, nine. And this one here goes to this oval. If you want to increase your RPMs when you set this thing up, if you don't like the way it's revving, you take this little tab here and you bend that out. And then you come over here and make a little adjustment on this tab to take the slack out of this spring. So that's how you deal with this type with the air vane. When you're reinstalling your air filter, the, the uh, point goes to the back. It doesn't go like this to the front. A lot of times they come in to my shade tree and it's pointing to the front. They actually point to the back. This ridge here lines up with this ridge on the plastic cover. See how it's aerodynamic when you're pushing it at one mile an hour. This aerodynamic front here will give you point tenth of a mile an hour extra. <clears throat> so there you go. As far as getting your springs, I recommend you get it from a reputable seller. I ended up getting a batch of Chinese springs and the tension wasn't right and it gave me a hell of a time. I fi finally figured out what the issue was. Stens is a good one. If you actually go with a Briggs and Stratton on these two, they're about six or seven each. So you're going to have $14 in those two springs if you go with a OEM spring. Um, these are the kits I got from China. You could try them when you put in this engine number on Google and you put in um, carburetor springs. You'll get some hits from Amazon, Fleabay, and they'll sell a kit. They know you need the two. You need the big one and the little one. So you can buy this in a pack for a couple bucks. I just didn't have any luck with these china ones you can give it a try maybe who i bought it from was not a good a, a good supplier and then i've got um i've got here's another um pulsa style this is a single spring for a single spring carburetor so I'll try to find one of those and show you how this one goes on. So this was a four or five pack from China. So that's basically all I got. Jamie, I hope that works for you. And you're able to buy the springs you need to rectify your craftsmen's. If you can, give me the... Um, engine numbers and I'll help you out with spring locations on the machine and part numbers so like I said this was a Frankenstein 2012 on the carb it's got the newer gas cap style usually they're a smaller cap this is uh, probably uh, an emissions control style with charcoal in it, I'm guessing. So this is an 03. If I gave you the wrong date in the beginning, it's a 2003 on the engine. So I made a Frankenstein out of this. 
I'll put these down below. This is the longer one. This is the one with the two racetrack hooks on either end, which is the back one. The long one with the hook here is the 691297. That metal air vane link 690347. And if this plastic air vane here is crack that white plastic hole or the blade itself on the inside that part number is 691912 okay adios amigos jamie get fixing i know you've rectified some machines here in the last couple of weeks good for you to get three crafties i hope you can fix those up and dump those grasses grow and get fixed and make some money if you're making money tip your waitress and wait staff they're doing an awesome job adios oh one other thing your air vein link here there's two holes in this plastic. There's a little hole in the larger hole. You can't screw this up. The um, linkage will only go into that hole closer to the uh, recoil housing. That little hole there is for nothing. If you tried to put the linkage in there, it's not even going to go into that small hole. Okay, go eat some donuts.